All right, we have a kid here with chicken pox. Good candidate for the healing tool. So, come to our magnifying glass. Drag out an area. And here he is. Then we come to the healing tool. And next to the P on your keyboard, you've got the two bracket keys. So I need to press the right bracket key. Get my press size just a little bit bigger. And start. That's how easy it is to use a healing tool. It works best, I'm using it here, on little spotty areas. If you've got any teenagers with zits or acne, this is what you'd use. If I come up a little bit, I come up to this handsome beast here, do the wrinkles. This time I'm dragging out a line. You can see if you come in a little bit closer, it doesn't give quite a satisfactory result when you drag out along the lines. You're asking it to do too much. You're asking it to average out too much, which is not so good. Let's try it on a little spot here. So spots, yes, wrinkles, no. Okay, we've got a very charming picture here. Two children being read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I'm sure you know that book. The only problem with it is, yep, we've got red eye. So what is red eye? That's where you take a photograph and you use flash. The flash bounces into the back of the eye, bounces off the blood cells on the back of the eye, and bounces straight back out of you, so you get this kind of effect. Okay, let's see what we can do to correct it. Let's come to this one here. Zoom right in, and just over to the side, we've got the tool here, Red Eye Tool. Take a look at this. Now, next to the P on your keyboard, you've got two brackets. I'm pressing the right one to make it larger, left one to make it smaller. I want it about the same size as the pupil. There we go, and click once. And click once. Let's go across to the other child. Click once, click once. All right, let's see what we've got. Zoom to fit. It's not bad, but you're still getting something. If I come to this child here again, it hasn't completely got rid of all the red. It's got slight areas of pink there. And also, especially the eye on the left, instead of getting red eye, now you've got something which I'll call deep grey eye, because that needs to be darker. All right, so there's another way of doing this. It's more involved. But in the long run, you get more control over how you do things. So I'm going to zoom out again. Zoom to fit. And now I'll come to my layers palette. And I had three layers here. I have the background layer. I've just done the red eye layer. Now I'm going to turn on the burn layer and do this one instead. We're going to concentrate on the child in the middle. There. OK, the first thing we want to do is to come up here to the magic wand tool. There we go. And now I'm going to click on that little highlighted area, that white area, and I'm going to drag out. I'm aiming to get most of that little highlight on the top left corner, about there. Then press Shift and do the other one. Try and get it so they're roughly even. OK, I've got two areas selected there. Then I'm going to come up to Edit, Invert Selection. So now I'm going to affect stuff on the outside of my two selections. Next thing. Come over to the Tools palette and select the Burn tool. Come over again. Now I want that to be slightly small. I want this to be about the same size as the pupil. I want a fairly hard brush. So that's a fairly hard brush there. And left bracket key, make it about the same size. Now as for I come up to the top and I want to choose highlights and just when I'm doing burn, crank the exposure way up. Normally I have that set very low, but for this, you don't want to mess around. Come to here and click, 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 making everything darker. Still got a bit of red eye around the edges. Click, 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 make this a bit darker as well. Okay, so now I come back to Edit, Invert Selection, 
So now I'm working inside where you've got that kind of pinky whitey highlight area there. And I'm going to come over to my effects browser, color adjustments, black and white, drag that in. Now, brightness, I want the brightness set fairly low. And click on OK there. Now I want to control D to deselect. Finally, come back over to the tools palette. And you want to select this one here, the blur tool. Now the strength is set to a 50% by default. Let's take that down a little bit. And I want it, the brush size to be smaller. So left bracket key, make it small, about there, about that size. Now start tapping away and you can see it's blurring one side of the highlight. Click, 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 click. It's doing that as well. A little bit on the top side so you don't get very sharp pixelated edges there. And finally there. Right, let's zoom this out a little bit, see what we've got. All right, with that, you haven't got that dark gray eye. You've got the highlights where the highlight should be, and you haven't got definitely got no red eye. So it's a little bit more involved, but the end results kind of work a little bit better. You have more control over what you're doing. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance along with me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.